any survivors. None yet. It was a thorough job, sir. I'll uh, keep sweeping the sensor data. Wait, I have a reading. There's something sealed in that large chunk of debris. Confirmed. There's a life sign. Good. Get them aboard immediately. I have questions for them. I filled a suit systems with Medigel, but I've never had any experience with Quarians before. The immune system is heavily attributed. Opening the suit could kill them. I'm going to ask you a few questions. I expect you to answer them. I will tell you nothing, Turian. Why do they always say that? Let's start with your name, perhaps. Your name. I... I am Daltana Narat... Narateo. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? That is all you shall get from me. Listen, Quarian. This is my patrol area, and thus the report is my responsibility. Who attacked your ships? What? It... it wasn't you? Of course it wasn't. What do you think we are, Batarian slavers? We were responding to the distress hail from your fleet. It wasn't the entire flotilla. Our wing was finishing business in the system while the bulk of the fleet was already seeking work and resources over in Attic and Beta. We should have all jumped through the relay at the same time, but it seems that most of the wing made the jump. Only a small portion of us were left behind. Judging by the comm calls, an enemy fleet came through the relay at the exact instance the rest of the wing departed. That would require incredible precision. It is what happened. Why didn't your whole wing make the jump? We should have. Our lead ship must have instructed the relay to send us all. Maybe it was... a malfunction? Mass relays do not malfunction. I would expect a quarry and above all to appreciate Prothean technology. But what other explanation can there be? Now that is the question. It couldn't have been an error on our part. I knew the XO on the Doretto, our lead vessel. He was born on my own ship. If it was a mistake, how was a pirate group ready to strike with sub-second precision? Uh, it, maybe it was just coincidence. We recovered what appears to be your belongings, some of it quite valuable. How did they come into your possession? They were gifts. For my pilgrimage. I was meant to start in the next system. There for a while I was... away... from the flotilla. Yes, that makes sense. I apologize for this, but it was necessary to ensure you were not involved in this incident in some manner. It seemed likely that you had colluded with the attackers in an effort to buy your own safety. I understand, Captain. I know how Turian patrols operate. I think. If I may ask, how many others did you manage to rescue? You were the only one. Kila. We are going to be stationed briefly at Mimini's station to refuel. Feel free to leave when you are ready. On the station there is an Asari counsellor who owes me a favour. Tell her you're a friend of Amicus Credo, and you've experienced a huge loss. She may be able to help you.
Good luck to you. I shall pass along any information I find. Your belongings. We added in a week's food rations. Purified. Thank you. One more thing. You may want to arm yourself. This is not the safest place in the galaxy. Aquarians are not well liked by some. Thank you, Captain, for your kindness. May our paths cross again. Watch it! Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Ah. ah, yes, good day. Welcome. You are Daltanana Atio, yes? Or are you not? I, uh... Most excellent. Welcome to this purveyance of mental and emotional well-being. Why, you are a most fortunate individual. Your deity of choice must be smiling down beneficial tidings upon you. Not only had the illustrious Mesosoda had a cancellation this afternoon, but our mutual friend, Captain Credo, was quite vociferous in your importance. Not that fortunate. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Mesosoda, Captain Credo's good friend has arrived. Excellent, send him in. Please make sure he's comfortable. Why, of course, Mesosoda. Please enter at your convenience, good sir. I shall take care of your luggage. And, uh... Your weapon? My weapon? Not that you might go on a deranged homicidal rampage, sending our precious bodily fluids cascading along station bulkheads like the great waterfalls on Manavai. May the spirits of our ancestors confound such vile thoughts. No, no. Bad for aesthetic. Unseemly. Also, uh, wrong colour. Not to worry, good sir. I shall take loving care of your belongings. Uh, thank you. Hello, Dal. I was pleased to know I could help a friend of Amicus. Yet, so horrified to hear of your story. So many lost. Please. Honestly, it was more than a tragedy. It was a massacre. We were not ready. We had no preparations. We shouldn't even have been there. We should have been on the other side of the arena, but instead this horde of ships appeared. All of the defense vessels in our fleet had gone through. Is there no way you can contact the fleet and let them know you are still alive? Uh, no. By the time I had a recovery, the fleet would have already investigated, concluded there were no survivors, and moved on. I know how to find them, but I will need a ship to get there. Also, I guess I'm on my pilgrimage now. I cannot return without a gift for my new captain. I won't return without a gift. But for now, you need the means to live. Precisely. I fear I have no real skills to offer. I was quite well trained physically, but I don't think Quarian hand to hand would stand up against even the most intoxicated Turin in this place. My piloting skills were only ever passable. I never crashed a ship, but then neither does anyone else. I even failed one of my technical exams. Garen told me that was scrap metal. I'm sorry, what? A Volus on the lower tier. He runs maintenance bay with an l partner. He said he'd been trying to fix it for weeks, but ended up giving it to me after I said it would look pretty in the lounge. Maybe he'd be interested in hiring you. But that was trivial. A child could do it. A Quarian child, perhaps. You shouldn't be so dismissive of your abilities. I imagine Garen is looking for someone just like you. But I still must do what I can to find out who is responsible for the attack. I understand. No one's going to stop you from doing that. 
Why don't you tell me what happened? I do not recall much. I was off duty. I heard the warning from Masarino. Attention all the ships. This is a strafe advanced delay. Broadcasting to the right now. Stand by for threat. We are making the jump in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What happened? What are those ships? Various silhouettes. No mark. Are the defense ships engaging? No, they all made the jump. I'm getting energy readings. Kila, no. It was over so fast. Warm greeting. Welcome to this humble emporium of fine reconditioned goods. Is there anything you wish to find as I may be able to assist? Guarded inquiry. I had heard that the Quarian fleet had moved on to another system. Had I been misinformed? I... Uh, no, you're right. The fleet has moved off. I am on my pilgrimage. Hopefully, and you wish to find a gift for your new captain. Minor exaggeration, I am certain that we can find something that any Quarian captain would be delighted to receive. Uh, no. <laughs> That's not it at all. I- Ah, apologies, Fleet Clan. I've only just got off the communist with Mrs. Sosa. She tells me you fixed the Ionic Disperser. Incredible. I had been working on it for a week, but to no avail. I tell you, Chosan, he'll be worth his weight in Ezo. Please, come into the workshop. There have been a few devices giving me some small trouble. After that, I'll show you your quarters. Follow me, Fleet Clan. Reassuring advice. You had best go with him. When Garen gets this excitable, it is best to humor him. <laughs> Co
Cautiously, you had been attempting to repair that transducer since you found it two weeks ago. Nonsense. It was only one week ago. But it seems I was right about Fleet Clan here. He seems remarkably industrious. Anyone else on this station would have taken weeks to do that. Fleet Clan. As profitable as it would be to let you continue your work through the night, I think it would be best if you rested for the time being. Ms. Asuta tells me you have been through a lot. And besides, it would violate some sort of employment regulations. Here, an advance on your wages. For your efforts. What if I do not stay an entire month? That is for the week. Oh, uh, thank you. Friendly suggestion. There are many forms of entertainment on the promenade. You may wish to partake in one or two. Alright. Maybe it will help take my mind off things. We don't see many of your kind here. What'll it be? What do you have that is suitable? Uh, for quarries, I mean. Hmm. Turian liquor here. They like the hard stuff. Though I've seen some of them go through a whole damn bottle and walk back out just as sober. Hmm. Maybe it's all that military training. Uh. I'm sure I've got a few other rarities around here somewhere. Plus, I can run in whatever you want for a filter. Should make sure nothing here kills you. Duh. Within reason. Eh. Uh, surprise me. Hmm. Try this one. Popular with the last group of quarries here. Crazy bastards they were. It's a human battery. Don't worry, it won't bite. Probably won't do much good for you either, though. The humans call it... Cola. I'll have another. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like you, Gorion. Okay, so obviously that was a bit sudden. Truth is that it was only about half the story. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't deal with another three years working on the same project. I've learned my lesson now. Only small projects from now on. 
but for anyone interested, here's the short version. After a bit more silence in the bar, a Batarian thug attacks the repair bay. He's driven away in a short fight that includes the very fun line Incandescent rage, you will not harm my friends. Then we meet the thug's boss, another Batarian named Jalek. He orders an all out attack on the workshop. Chozan is lured away, Garen is injured, but I manage to fight off most of the others until this moment. Ah! You've done well, Quarian, but now it's time to rid the universe of one more of you AI loving filth. That new Turian is the constable of the station, Nunc Munio. He uses the attack as proof of Jalek's wrongdoing and mounts a counterattack on Jalek's offices. I join him and we have an exciting few fightings through corridors. Once you reach Jalek and get the better of him, we uncover another twist. He was behind the ambush of the Quarian fleet. One of his compatriots replaced the Dereto's XO, Eshrafel Vas Dereto. A traitor is in the midst of the fleet. After a fond farewell with the people I've met on my stay, I take Jalek's ship back to the fleet, with the news that could save many, many lives. Inbound ship, you are approaching the migrant fleet. Turn back or identify. This is Daltana Narateo. I need to speak with the captain of the Diretto. Require return authorization to rejoin the fleet. My course was unexpected, although my destination was inevitable. Confirmed. Welcome home, Daltana. Finally, I quickly want to show off a few models that never made it into the first half. Solarian armor. The Ymir mech. Defense systems active. And a series of weapons. Now there is nothing left for me to say except this. To anyone who has enjoyed this video, please head over to daltana.com for more of my work. Thank you for watching. Keyless Alive.